a little update is um we are lost and we got separated from the rest of the group so now we're kind of just wandering trying to find our way out we asked another tourist where the entrance slash exit is and apparently we're the farthest away from that point so we're just gonna keep wandering until we can find it but uh hopefully we're not stuck in the woods for too long <laughs> Also, if you can hear in the background, I don't know if my microphone is picking it up, but there are apparently monkeys howling, so maybe we'll get lucky and see one, but it is coming from that direction. I'm not sure if we're going to see any, but the best we can do is hope for it. Now we're stuck in a predicament. There's the left path which is where this huge tree is, or there's the straight path. And which one do you want to choose? I feel like this is kind of a gamble. All right, we are gonna go straight. Reconnected! We were lost. We For a hot second. Different groups of people. Where to go? Dun 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 dun. Woo! Yay! Yay! So tonight I'm going to be trying this hot sauce. <laughs> I can look like a food influencer. <laughs> I actually don't know how to describe what it smells like, so I'm just gonna dig in with uh, this plantain chip. I'm gonna put this huge scoop on it. There's a slight tingling flavor, so I'm not gonna jump the gun this time because I learned my lesson. I think. That it's going to get, it feels like it's going to get like spicier the longer it goes on. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll just see and wait how spicy it gets, but I feel like it's it's good. Yeah. I'd say probably on the spice scale, like like a seven out of ten, <laughs> maybe a seven or eight, because there is like that aftertaste of tang like tingling, which you don't normally get with hot sauce. Sorry. Anyway, that's my review. Yeah, that was good. It's been a super long day, but I think it's been one of the best ones yet. We got to do so many fun things. Also, I'm watching Spongebob in Spanish, um, but I'm going to call it a night and I will come back and update you guys tomorrow. Good night.
Okay. All right. I feel like a mad workout. Okay. It doesn't have to be a little push if you want. such an exciting day today. We finally got to the hotel. We are currently in Monte Verde and the big excursion today was zip lining, which was so fun and awesome. There were seven zip lining courses and you didn't even have to hike up to the zip lining course. You just took kind of like a ski lift all the way up and then once you got there, then you just zip down and you didn't even like the most exercise that you had to do was maybe walk up like a flight of stairs to get to the zip lining station. And there were 11 people total and we kind of split it up into groups. So there's a group of six and then a group of five. And at the very end of the zip lining, like the seven zip lining courses, there was this final vertical jump, I guess, where you could either choose to do the jump kind of like a bungee jump or you could choose to take the stairs and everyone in our group chose to do the jump i was so scared i almost chickened out but i'm really happy i did it because it was like a huge adrenaline rush like a once in a lifetime kind of feeling experience to do that in costa rica and honestly even though i was scared to do it afterwards i wanted to go again so like 10 out of 10 experience on that beforehand. I'm glad that we ate because it was really cold and it was just good to be on a full stomach while zip lining through the course. I also didn't pack properly for this trip. So in the last town that we were in, it was kind of humid, hot and humid, but now it's, we're in the mountains. So it's chillier and I only have shorts and like tank tops. Um, I brought a hoodie and I brought a sweatshirt, but that's pretty much it. And I kind of wish I packed more like warmer clothes, but it is what it is at this point. Another girl let me borrow her pants for zip lining, so I'm really grateful for that because I would not have survived. I would have been so miserable zip lining in uh, shorts and a tank top. But let me think what else. 
the restaurant we ate at was called Bon Appetit and it was an Italian restaurant. It was so good. I got spaghetti and a mocha coffee because I was really tired. Also, it took about, I don't know, maybe like two or three hours to get from, I think it's called La, La, For, La Funta, La Fortuna, La, Fortuna, La, Fortuna, La Fortuna. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna put it right here. There to Monte Verde and a lot of the roads were like dirt paths so it was really bumpy and I was just thinking I need to close my eyes because otherwise I'm going to get car sick so I'm glad that we made two stops along the way. One was to see a really beautiful sight on the side of the road and the other one was at a gift shop for a bathroom break and that's where I saw like this really cute dog. But yeah, I haven't been able to vlog much today because it was go, go, go mode. It was constantly doing something right when we woke up, went to breakfast, then checked out, then went onto the bus, and then lunch, and finally ziplining. So after ziplining, we came here. And this is definitely like the best place, or I would say is the best place that we've stayed at so far. It's the place I'm staying in is an apartment style. So I get my own room and just share like common living space, like a kitchen. I can't even believe it has a kitchen, but we're planning on going into town in about 40 minutes or so. So I'm going to get ready. I don't know if I should go with the more cute option, which is this sweater obviously not going to keep me warm. I hear the wind already outside the window and I'd be wearing it like on top of a romper so my legs are completely exposed. I would be very cold or if I wanted to go with the warmer option which is maybe like the warmest option that I have at the moment. My denim shorts and a hoodie like an oversized hoodie. So I might put on the cute outfit, go outside, check to see if it's really cold, and if it is, then I might just go with the comfy look because I'm not trying to freeze all night long. But yeah, so I will try my best to vlog while we're in town, but if I'm not able to, then I will see you tomorrow for Costa Rica Day 5. This is the outfit I ended up with because, um, we went with Comfy. some live music so now we're going up these stairs to see where the night takes us and if this place there's any food because we also came into town for dinners but the live music was really calling I guess
gonna get this jacket in here. <laughs> You take the face. It's supposed to be a video, <laughs> but it's just coming out. We are going up a long incline and it's very muddy and slippery. Shoes are very dirty and a little bit rainy and windy. Actually a lot of bit <laughs> rainy and windy. <laughs> Hey guys, it's currently day five of the Costa Rica trip and today we spent the morning doing a hike through the cloud forest. It was a bit misty and very, very muddy. Like, this is what my socks look like. It was also kind of cold because it was high up and we were kind of in the clouds, so I guess that's why they call it cloud forest. I was wearing a hoodie the whole time because I was kind of cold, but then as you're walking and you're getting exercise, you got hotter and hotter. So then I end up taking it on, putting it off, taking it on, putting it off. And then we had a really nice lunch at a local restaurant. And after that, we went into town and did some shopping. So I wanted to do a haul and show you everything that I bought. Very, very touristy stuff. Actually, I got this sticker last night, but I think it's so funny. It's a sloth zip lining and this is what we had to do the, the people at the zip lining company told us at the very end like stop you had to spread your legs and so i just thought this was hilarious and it was only two dollars well i say only two dollars but two dollars for a sticker is kind of a lot but i just really like it next i got these pins they were four dollars each and this mermaid cat pin really caught my eye when I first saw it. Um, I just thought it was really cute. And then to kind of go with that aesthetic, I got this because I'm a Florida girly and I love that it's a pink fan with the palm trees. Next up, I got this pin. It's hard to read, but it says... If you are looking for a sign, this is it. And I just thought this was really cute. And last but not least, this was kind of like a comfort funny pin that I liked. Um, but it's a sloth holding a cat and there's three other cats. 
because I love cats, so <laughs> I just thought this was really, really cute. And then within that same store, I got a necklace. So first I got this necklace with a starfish and this little seashell. I think it's layered. I just thought it would be something I would actually wear all the time in Florida. And it was $10. I also got this pair of earrings. And I got these for my mom because I think she looks really nice in this color and I know she likes it. So I just thought they're pretty unique and would be really cute. That was the first store that I went to. And honestly, compared to all of the other tourist traps that we've been seeing, like these prices were not bad, like $10 for a necklace, $4 each for pins not the worst that I've seen. There was some guy on the side of the street like a couple days ago. He had this whole vendor set up and he was selling a bunch of bracelets. I saw some bracelets with really cute shells around it. So I asked how much it was. He said that it was $5. I was like, okay, then I'll let me go get my money and I'll be right back because I had forgotten my wallet. So then right before I left, he was like, oh wait, it's actually $7. Oh wait, actually it's $8. And then at that point, I was like, no, I can pass on that. I'm not going to buy this bracelet for $8, especially with the price going up and up. The more he saw that I was interested in it, it was just kind of like, I did not want to buy it for that much. The stores that we were going to, like they were selling bracelets for around $1, $2, which is not bad. But anyways, this is the second store that I went to. I got this hold on it's all tangled up da, 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 da. okay i got this cute crochet top it's a like light baby pink and <laughs> let me see this is how it would look potentially we are going to a beach town after um monte verde so i thought this would be really cute to wear at the beach and also has like this padding on the other side which i love because then you don't have to wear a bra or anything like that so yeah, I just thought it would be really nice. I can also wear it in Florida. And the last but not least, like, souvenir touristy shop I went to was this Asian market. And I didn't realize it was an Asian market. I just thought it was, like, a discount store because when I went in, there were tons of random stuff like um chargers and toys and just things I've seen before at thrift stores in the U.S. So. I was looking around and I found some really cute things and when I went up to check out I heard that the radio was on and the language was Chinese. I just like recognized it and so after I paid I asked the guy if he spoke Chinese and he said yes and then he, I said xie xie, zai <laughs> and it was just really cool to speak a little bit of Chinese in Costa Rica. Like I was not expecting to find anyone who was Chinese like in Costa Rica who could speak the language but the store was pretty cheap I don't know what 650 is in colonies but I got these cute socks I don't know why probably because I just ruined these socks from the hike from being so dirty I'm gonna try to wash them but I don't know if they're stained or not so I, I just thought these were really cute and they say this on the back and yeah I don't know it just called out to me and it was an impulse buy and everyone wears socks so I'll be getting use out of these and the other thing I got from that store was this it's kind of like a telescope there was a set of camo binoculars that I saw but I was just having a hard time using it and I was actually figuring out how to use this we've been doing a lot of hiking in force in force lately so I thought that this would be cool to have see if I can see any animals or anything like in the trees because there's a lot a lot a lot of cool wildlife here that I just can't see with the naked eye and both of this and this also this didn't have a price or anything so but both of these together was I want to say eight doll seven or eight dollars like both of these together was seven or eight dollars which not that bad and right across from the street was a grocery store so I went in and I got snacks and um just like refreshments because there's a 
refrigerator at this apartment. So I got some Pepsi and I'm trying these jalapeno chips. I've never seen these before, but they look pretty good, so I'm willing to try it. And I like jalapenos, so what could go wrong? <laughs> and I got some other stuff as well, but that ended up coming out to... <sighs> Let me think. I paid partly in colonies and partly in US dollars, so it was a little bit confusing with about how much everything actually was. But I think it ended up being like around $17 out of... All the shopping I did today, I've completely run out of cash, so that's probably going to be all of the shopping for me for this entire trip. And unless I find something that's like super, super um, eye-catching or something, I think that's worthwhile. But yeah, this was definitely like my biggest shopping spree of the trip. I'm going to take a shower, get freshened up, and then I'm going to go hang out with the girls. So... I will update the vlog when I get back. bus ride there is going to be about an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes, but I bought some snacks and drinks yesterday, so I should be all set. I have my snorkeling mask, so hopefully I can use it. Yeah, I'm really excited. I have no idea what the beach is going to be like, but I have high hopes for it. Today is going to be a very different day compared to the other ones. It's going to be more chill and relaxing. Everyone can do their own thing compared to hiking through the forest, but... I'm excited to get this day started.
lizard. Small. He kind of looks like. Oh, I've, I've just, I've just suddenly noticed and realised it's like right in front of me. Yes, we are in Instagram. We have an. Uh, TikTok videos by wildlife and also um, uh, Facebook, which is like the most. Maria, Maria. Mm. Okay, okay, we're gonna start. The ground, those are monkeys, they are in trees the whole time. Sometimes they get lower but never to the ground. I mean, never is like maybe once in a while because they have to go from one point to another one, but they really don't like that. So Are they good? Mm-hmm. That is so funny. See them jumping on it? I can see them.
Alex, how are you feeling about getting a tattoo? Very nervous because this is my first one. Oh, what do you think about getting? I'm gonna get a little, a little slot on my ankle. Look, so what are you gonna get? Is it gonna be handwritten? Uh, not by me. <laughs> Ella, what are you working on? Just doing some, some of my penmanship, darling. <laughs> Testing out some fonts for my tattoo. I really like this TV show. Rachel, what are, you, what are you planning on getting? Have you decided? Scorpion. <gasps> do you have a picture? I do. Have you decided on that? You're gonna get two? I'm gonna get. Oh! Danielle, what are you planning on getting? I'm here. Do you have an example? Um, I don't know. I'm thinking behind my back. Ooh, Something I like, like that, that placement. No, but I'm, I'm figuring out the font though. Yeah. So I'm not too sure. It's very adventurous, so it's perfect for you. The only one I have not gotten an interview with is Miss Abby. Hang on. <laughs> Important things are happening right <laughs> Important things are happening. The magic we'll up together. We'll update this vlog later. I have not had a lot of time to update the vlog today or even yesterday. I think I forgot to do like a closing out um, video. But basically to sum it up, today we went through a national park and saw so many creatures. Um, I probably already ins inserted them in the video, but they were so, so cute and cool. It was my very first time ever seeing monkeys in the wild and a variety of that, plus two and three toad slots. So that was really, really, really cool. And I'm glad I got to do that on the last day because today is kind of the last day that we get to do anything. Since tomorrow will be like an entire travel day. But we also, at the end of the national park, there was a beach and it was so pretty. Like the water was super clear and I was just not expecting it after the beach we went to last night where the sand was black. Pro but it was probably from volcanic rock or something. But anyways, the beach was really nice and the sand kind of sticks to you. So I still have sand on me and that... But that, partly the other reason why is because when we got back from the beach, we ate a quick lunch but didn't stop at the hotel because the hotel was about an hour and a half away. So after dinner, we all rushed back to the hotel, had 10 minutes to not not shower but rinse off. And um, Alexa and I <laughs> quickly rinsed off, like slept slip clothes on and then ran out the door and we were still the last ones out of the group to make it on the bus um but now we are at a tattoo parlor and the girls are getting tattoos so i'm personally not getting a tattoo because even though i have always thought about getting tattoos it's just not the right time in my life right now i think or my parents would hate it so is is the real answer but I'm really happy to be able to see some of the girls get tattoos for the first time and just like be a part of the whole experience. It's a really awesome way to end off this amazing girls trip so far. So yeah, I hope that everyone likes their tattoos and that everything turns out good because this tattoo parlor, I'm not sure if it's good or not. I think someone just picked a random one in the downtown area by our hotel. So <laughs> I'm hoping for the best for them. Okay. Yeah. I love the vibrations. I'm sorry. I gotta leave. Charlie, you're going, right? So hot. 
It's just such a random night. <laughs> I'm so happy right now. I'm so happy right now. You're so cute. Kisses? <laughs> just your own. <laughs> so <laughs> tired. So oh. You're so cute. Sushi, Sushi kisses. Me tomas una foto. Foto? Mio? She wants to get a photo of me and her. Gracias. Thank you, Danetta. How do I get it to her? I can't print it. They're so cute. This is going to be the best part of the vlog. It's the last day and Charlie and I got these energy drinks. So we're gonna try them together. Um, it looks like, it says it's Fresca and Acai Zero. Um, but it's all in Spanish. So <laughs> not 100% sure, but let's try it. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's pretty good. Oh, yeah. Okay. We approve. Yeah. Since it's our last day, some of the girls and I are exploring the town and because there's a bunch of cute little markets. I guess at 12 p.m. we're going to hop back on the bus and go back to San Jose for the airport to go home tomorrow. Also, I think this drink might be turning my... It's red. <laughs> I think it might be tur turning my teeth red. So there's that. Since Christmas just happened, there's a lot of uh, Christmas decorations. Airport gift. 
gift shop time. They have slots, a lot of plushies. We love to see all of the hot sauce and there's a variety pack. This is so cute. This one's cute too. Pure Vita, Pure Vita. Live free. So it's really loud because we're now at California Pizza Kitchen to get something to eat. But I got some stuff from the airport gift shop and it was so much money, like a lot more than I thought. I ended up getting some hot sauce. They were having this buy three, get one free. And so Alexa got two and I got two and we're just going to split it down the middle. Oh, and I also got some cigars for my dad. They asked me if I wanted a bag and in Florida, it doesn't cost extra. They gave me a bag and charged me $10.99 for it, which I was not expecting. So I ended up spending um $120 and I was not planning on spending that much, but oh well, this is the final stop before going back home. So I guess if there's any time to spend money, it's like right now. I feel like I just got scammed. Amazing. Incredible. Outstanding. Hey guys, I just got back home from a long day of traveling yesterday. The flight wasn't that bad. I took Spirit Airlines and it was about, I want to say like a two and a half to three hour flight from San Jose International to Orlando. I had such an amazing time in Costa Rica. It was definitely a trip that I'm going to remember. I feel like I went in with one friend, my friend Alexa, who I went on the trip with, and then I came back with so many friends. Going through experiences and adventures, you make so many friends along the way. There were so many amazing women on the trip. I was traveling with, which I think I said earlier in the video, but Bart and Barch, and they're a women's only travel company, and they plan trips all around the world. I think they're doing a Bali trip, and a Iceland trip later this year. But basically, the two girls that run it, they plan out everything, like the whole itinerary, starting with where to go to eat, what the, they organize the transportation, they organize all of the excursions, and they basically just guide you through the day. But they also leave time for free time. So if you want to explore out by yourself, like go into town. I know that a lot of the time during our free time, a part of the group of girls, we would just go into town and do some shopping, browsing, get a snack to eat, sit at a restaurant or something like that. But <laughs> I am happy to be home because I missed my cat a lot and I have so many packages to open. So I'm debating right now whether I should do an unpackaging haul of everything I got while I was away in Costa Rica or if I should just save that for another video. I was so sad to say goodbye to everyone. Even though it was only a nine-day trip, it really felt like I created bonds with people that will last a lifetime. I feel like because of the time we spent together in that short amount of time, you just become so close to people so quickly and everyone was so nice. Everyone was amazing. I'm really, I'm just really good. I'm really bad at goodbyes. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so, so much for watching my Costa Rica vlog. This is my very first travel vlog. And so I'm hoping that with time I'll get better at it, but I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about Bart and Barch Travel Company or if you just have any questions about like things to do in Costa Rica or any questions about my experiences that I didn't talk about. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! <laughs>